Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 10 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Okay, time for me to use the Harp of Ages and just check this place out right now. In the past, that is. Because obviously it looks like crap now. Who knows, maybe it looked a little bit better. Actually, scratch that, it does look a lot better. Save for the earthquakes. That's probably one issue that needs to be changed. Help! Help! The tuning nut is broken! What? Will you listen to my problem? Okay. The closer the Black Tower gets to completion, the stranger the city gets. When the tuning nut broke, the city fell out of balance, and the volcano started erupting. The tuning nut is the city's symbol. We dutifully f worship this nut. The rules of Symmetry City require that left and right be in perfect balance, but the tuning nut at the center of the city is broken. Symmetry City is all out of balance. If we don't get the tuning nut fixed and put back, Symmetry City will be destroyed by the eruptions. Do you understand? No, but I don't want to hear you talk anymore, so I'll say yes. I've given the broken tuning nut to my husband, but he can't climb Restoration Wall. Well, then tell your husband that he's useless. Problem solved. Please tell me that's not your, her husband there. Sway right, sway left. Move left, sway right. Move right, sway left. I'm so skinny. I wish I could change. Sway left, sway right. I know. I'll work out. Except, I have only one dumbbell. Sway left, sway right. Working one arm at a time. It goes against my policy. If I can't do left and right at the same time... Sway left, sway right. Sway left, sway right. He seems to be fixated on your dumbbell. Give him the dumbbell? Nah, I just like to watch him suffer. Okay, fine, I'll do it. That's it! What I wanted! Now I can lift! 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 I'll get all the girls now, eh? Sway left, sway right. I'm so skinny. I can't offer you much. Um, I know. RIP. Gotta work out. He ripped off his mustache? Get the girls! Get the girls! You know, you, you could have just shaved. It would give you a lot less grief. Wow. Okay, that's the volcano over there. But I can't do much about it. Oh, look at Mr. Derp over there. Ow! I was injured by a rock that shot out in the eruption. If you want the tuning nut, go see my brother across town. Uh, falling out in the family? That's why you're not living with each other? So sad. Sometimes I hear music flowing down from the mountaintop. But I wonder why? Uh, maybe somebody's playing music below the mountaintop. That would explain why you're hearing music all along. Especially in that area. Huh? The cave entrance? It was covered by lava from the volcano long ago. Maybe if the volcano calms down, you may be able to get in. Okay, there's a little bit of an incentive. Chances are the fourth dungeon is there, behind the volcano. The closer the Black Tower gets to completion, the stranger the city gets. When the tuning nut broke, the city fell out of balance and the volcano started erupting. I want to take the tuning nut to Patch's place, but I can't leave the city alone. This is Symmetry City. Left and right have to be in perfect balance. My brother is too hurt to move, so I can't move either. You gotta be kidding me. If one brother goes somewhere, the balance between left and right will be lost. But someone has to go. Hey, you can ignore the rules and leave the city. Can you take the tuning nut to patch? This is gotta be the stupidest bylaw in a city ever. East of the top of Restoration Wall to the south. After you get the tuning nut fixed, take it to the house in the middle of the city and place it on the pedestal. Man, I thought some states and provinces had ridiculous bylaws, but this takes the cake! 
So if one brother goes out to hang himself, does the other brother have to do it too? That makes you think a little too much. It really does. Something like that just isn't right. So I'm just gonna leave it at that and move on. Yeah, that's very weird. Hmm, there's an owl. Time's flow can change the land. That seems good to know, but I don't think I should be here yet. Ooh, money. Let me explore the rest of this mountain, and apparently there's a lot more knights. Heh, <laughs> I'm knocking arrows away like a boss. There's no reason to be here, either. Let me kill the rest of these knights, because I can. Alright, let's go up. That's dead end. But I am pretty suspicious about this area. Let me dive. Oh yeah, I thought so. Okay, in order for me to use the sword underwater, I have to assign it to B. It's a stupid rule, I know, but that's how it works. There. Die, stupid cheap cheap. Go back to Mario. Who the hell is this guy? It kinda looks like Bonk with a mustache. I am Taki. I research time. After many years of research, I'm one step away from perfecting a tune that lets one move forward in time. But it seems I've hit a roadblock. Echoes produce waves. What could it mean? It sounds like I need to play the Harp of Ages. Let me put the sword back. I prefer it on A. Though I need to think I'll need to switch again later. That's the tune of Echoes! That's the tone my research lacked! It has answered my remaining questions. Now I can finish my tune! Okay, let's hear it. And yes, he performs at weddings, too. And apparently Mormon proms. Ye of many tunes! I grant you a new tune! Time flows on when you play the tune of currents. When you play this tune, you'll immediately drift back to your own time. If you are in a place from which you cannot reach your own time, you'll return to the past. Okay, doesn't that remind you of the magic mirror from A Link to the Past? Remember you're using that in the dark world and you get sent to the light, light world and it leaves a portal behind? And if you couldn't even get to that area, like say, you're wedged between a wall, you would automatically go back. It's pretty much the same thing, if you think about it. Pretty cool, huh? Now that we got the second tune, we can actually travel to more areas. This will really be beneficial. To all of us. Not just me. <laughs> Idiot. Okay, something tells me it would be a good idea to head back to that dead end. Because usually when you see a dead end, there's something good there. No, no, that's not the one. I think I passed it. What I meant to do was go west of here. Like, let's try it here. Let's see what happens. Ah, here we go, we're in a new area that I couldn't reach. Yep, that's what it's for. So I got the sixth heart piece in the game. That's only half of them. Making progress, like a boss. Okay, now let me head back south. 
Something tells me that Owl is somewhere important, too. I might as well go there now. Kill some levers in the process, though. Like, let's try it here. Yeah, because I would end up over there if I actually used the Tune of Echoes. Now I'm in a new area altogether. So this is technically Talus Peaks. There we go, uh-oh. Ding dong, the bitch is back. Which old bitch? The wicked bitch! With a broomstick. Ooh, a ring. The one ring to rule them all. I don't think so. Yep, that didn't last very long at all. And sadly, no heart piece. All I get is moblins with a sword and a tech tight. Hmm, let me go this way. And I can't seem to get very far. Okay, let me try this way. Alright, so I have to use the Tune of Echoes to go back to the past. Alright, let me head back down. Okay, this place wasn't very important. This was simply put a dead end. Let me leave that sprout over there and go in this cave. What's the point of these entrances? Okay, I see what they did there. I'm I'm seeing it right now. These are just alternate entrances. And that's a dead end. That rock is pretty suspicious. And there's a hole over there to the right. And I can't exactly jump to the edge and get to the other side of the screen. Let me try pushing this. Hello! Looks like we just triggered a shortcut! And changed the flow of the water! This could mean something later. So, clearly that side of the water is dried up. What if... You know, I did see some statues that were submerged in water that I couldn't get to. If this happened in the past, chances are the water is still gone. Do not throw anything into the water. Fuck that, I'm throwing stuff in the water. Let me try bombs. Did you drop a golden bomb? Or a silver bomb? Um, a regular one. You are an honest person. I'll increase the number of bombs you can carry to reward you. Hiya! Finally, a fairy that doesn't suck. You can now carry 50 bombs! And I filled your bag! <laughs> oh, bomb bag. Never mind. Farewell! Well, I can carry 50 bombs now! This calls for a celebration! Let's throw a sign! And that is how I celebrate. Come to think of it... I don't really think I need this over here anymore. So let's change back. Now let's see how things have changed. I can go down here. But that's a dead end. I can go up though. That's cool. So I don't really know what would have happened if I came here where there was no water. Something tells me I wouldn't be able to get this far. That would make a lot of sense. Okay, I'm gonna need the Tune of Echoes again. There we go. What is over in this area, anyway? I gotta find the Restoration Wall. Could that be it over there? 
Okay, east is Restoration Wall. I have to make my way eastward. Can I get to it over here? Probably. Because these rocks are gone. Okay, I think I'm gonna make it. Restoration Wall, there it is. I have to dodge rocks a la Link to the Past and, well, regular Zelda. What happens if I hit a rock? Do I get sent all the way back down? Or do I just take damage? Ow. Okay, these are just like rock shoots. Okay, that makes sense. These are just exit points. So I'll go in the cave then. Are you Patch? I haven't had any visitors in some time. I am Patch. Well, that answers my question. The Restoration Guru. Did you need me? Yes. Hey, I see. You want me to repair that tuny nut? My restoration ceremony might fix it. Wanna try? Uh, no, I just came to sit by your table, sleep in your bed, and slit your throat. Okay, I'll try. You are willing to try? Very well. Follow me, hehe. <laughs> that doesn't sound very nice. What's the point of this? Welcome to Patch's Crazy Cart. Will you partake in my ceremony? Very well. Do you want to hear the rules? Wait, there are rules? Fine. Then let me explain. I'll place your tuny nut on that green tile and recite the words of my restoration ceremony. You must knock all the beasts that appear into a hole. Any hole will do. Sounds easy, right? However, restoration is delicate work. Your precious tuny nut sits on these tracks. The cart starts moving when the ceremony begins. As long as you stand on the switch, the cart won't hit your tuny nut. But if you don't and it gets hit, bang! So, will you take part in this fun, or delicate ceremony? Why is there even a cart here to begin with? What purpose does it serve? Ceremony will begin. Okay, so, whoa! They're keeping me away from the switch, too! There. Knock them all in one hole! Hey, hey, my ceremony succeeded. You are talented. You got through this trap, er, uh, ceremony. Here is our, your tuny nut, as good as new. As usual, I am perfect. Oh, someone has a high sense of self-esteem. Very high sense of self-esteem. And that is one ugly-ass nut. Bring me anything else that needs fixing, and I'll prepare my trap, er, uh, ceremony. Okay, you don't have to call it a trap anymore. I had fun, I get it. Time to think of it. I would like to see what this place is like in the present. And there's nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing at all. So I guess I'll just be heading back. Maple! You wanna come here? Okay, it doesn't seem like a lot of room, though. But I might as well bump it to your ass. Yeah, surprisingly, I needed a lot of health. Yeah, that's better. That was not a good time, Maple, but okay, your funeral. There, let me put the tuning nut over here. The volcano should calm down. I have to get that cave cleaned. Um, go ahead. If the volcano calms down. Wait a minute. This volcano had a secret cave in it, but that's a secret. Well, it's no good to me now. I can't get to the volcano unless. Of course. Since we change history. The village is no longer ruins. In fact, the houses are now inhabitable. Welcome to Symmetry City. Perfect balance is the law of the land. 
And apparently they're still held back by that ridiculous bylaw. Maybe I should not have saved them after all. What a mess! Do I have to be bigger? Uh, only if your brother is bigger. Remember the rules. Wait. There's another thing of thought. If one brother has a growth spurt, and the other doesn't... Who gets sent to jail? What a mess. Do I have to be smaller? Well, in a way, they are symmetrical. They're bitching about their size, so that's good enough for me. Welcome to Symmetry City. She says the exact same thing as the other redhead. Hmm... This is just weird. Okay, what is this dungeon called, anyway? Level 4 Skull Dungeon. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop the video right here. And then next part, we will do Skull Dungeon. Which hopefully isn't fully symmetrical. See everyone.